Hi, my name's Harriet and I'm going to explain to you a bit about what it's like to study BTEC Applied Science at Godman College. So the first thing to talk about is the fact that this is a BTEC Extended Certificate in Applied Science, which means that at the end of the two years you will get a BTEC which is equivalent to one A level. On the course we will study four units, two in the first year and two in the second year. In the first year we've got principles and applications of science which is an examined unit that you will sit at the end of the first year and unit two which is the coursework unit called practical scientific procedures and techniques and then in year two we've got a similar setup where we've got one exam which is on science investigation skills and then um, one coursework unit which is called diseases and infections it's important to note that all the units aren't equally weighted. The science investigation skills one is the most heavily weighted of them all. In unit one, you will study all three sciences and you'll build on your GCSE knowledge. So in chemistry, you will look at the stru uh, structure and bonding of atoms. You'll look at how atoms are made up and we'll delve even deeper than you've gone at GCSE and look at how electrons are set up around the atom. It's not just about these principal quantum shells, we've actually got something called subshells within them. In biology, you'll look at cell structures and functions. So we'll look at the little organelles that are inside a cell and what they do. We'll look at how cells are specialised for their function, for example, muscle cells and nerve cells. And we'll also look at how the cells come together to form a tissue and how that functions as well. In physics, we'll be looking at waves. We'll build on your knowledge of waves from GCSE and we'll look at how microwaves can be used in mobile phones and how other waves can be used for communication. At the end of the year, the first year, you will sit three 40 minute exams on each of the sciences over two days. In unit two, which you'll also sit in the first year, that's your coursework unit. And there are four assignments that we'll complete over the year. We'll learn a topic first and then after that topic, we will follow up with an assignment. Most of the assignments in Unit 2 consist of a practical and then you writing up the practical. You have to make sure you're very thorough, accurate and precise in order to get the high grades. We always suggest that you keep your notes really well together throughout the course because they're going to help you a lot when you're writing up your assignments. So an example of an assignment you might have to do in Unit 2 is a titration which you may have done at secondary school or may not have. Don't worry if you don't, because we'll be starting exactly from the beginning about how to carry out a perfect titration. We'll also study things like colorimetry to find the concentration of an unknown solution. We'll look at cooling curves and find the melting points of solids. And we'll also build on your chromatography skills and do paper chromatography and something called thin layer chromatography, where we will separate out amino acids and plant pigments. In the second year, you've got two more units. So unit three is called science investigation skills. This unit has a lot of experiments in it, both biology, physics and chemistry experiments. And then at the end of the year, you'll kind of be tested on one of them and you'll have questions on some of the other experiments. Unit 12 is the coursework unit called Diseases and Infections. You'll learn about how different diseases can be spread, what their causes, signs and symptoms are, and how diseases can be managed. You'll look into organisations such as the World Health Organisation and Médecins Sans Frontières and look at what they do to manage pandemics, which is very applicable to what's happening in the world today. We often get asked in applied science whether the course is skewed towards one science than the other 
And this course is probably slightly more skewed towards the biology and chemistry side because unit two is chemistry related and unit 12 is biology related. However, unit one and unit three do contain all three sciences. So there is some physics in there. Students who have studied this BTEC often go on to forensic science courses, ecology courses or conservation courses. Hopefully that's answered some of your questions about applied science. I'm happy to answer any more of them during our virtual Going to Godalming Day on Microsoft Teams. Look forward to meeting you then. Goodbye.